2018 has been a pretty rough year for H3H3 H3 Productions, but has he learned anything? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, did you hear I have a brand new book? Boom! Rewire Your Anger, it's out now. You can download it. By the way, I get so many people who are like, I don't have a Kindle, I can't download your book. The Kindle app is free. If you have a smartphone or a tablet or a computer, pretty much whatever you're watching this video on right now, you can get the book. <laughs> so I just wanted to clear that up real quick. But yeah, anyways, I've made some videos about H3H3 H3 this year um, since he's been talking a lot about his depression and woo -hoo -hoo, the internet has not been happy with him. Like I was just doing some research right before this video to kind of check and see what's going on and like man man so those of you who don't know um so h3 h3 he was one of the first like i don't know i don't know if he was like one of the first like commentators but he was one of the first like calling out other youtubers on just kind of like not so great content but this year um with his kind of ups and downs and like breaks from uh making videos and focusing more on the podcast and then he came out with his new app and just the internet lost it but yeah i've done some videos just about his depression and talking about that and H3H3, H3, like, Ethan has brought up a conversation of, like, are people using depression as an excuse? And that's a whole nother video, and I think I've talked about it in past videos. But anyways, I want to talk about, like, now that we're coming to the end of 2018, has Ethan learned anything, right? And I think it's important. So those of you who've been following my channel, I've been talking about how we need to start looking at people who are doing well with their mental health and look at them for inspiration and try to learn from them and say, what are they doing? What is this person doing? So I kind of got the idea for this video like right after I watched um, Ethan and Hila's new video about the Fine Brothers and like I was laughing, like I was actually laughing. And like here's the thing, I I have never been a huge H3H3 H3 fan. Like I think like Ethan's like kind of funny but he's not like something that I watch all the time. That's legit not funny, not funny, not funny. That is legit funny! You don't hold up! You're the one that doesn't hold up. You're getting a when the world starts being offended by Seinfeld, we've gone too damn far. You know, and when I watched the video that he made, like I was cracking up. I'm like, this is great. Maybe it's because I grew up with like Seinfeld, even though I wasn't obsessed with Seinfeld, but like you could see this change in him, right? You could see a difference in him. And something that he talked about during his depression, and this is why it kind of blows my mind when people think that he was just BSing about his depression, you can see the difference. Like if you watch their newest videos and you watch some of the other ones from earlier this year, you can see like a difference in confidence, a difference in, in passion, a difference in like the humor that they're using, right? And that's the thing about depression. Like, and he's talked about this. It's just, he hasn't been motivated to make these videos. So what's changed? What's changed? Like the last video I made about him, we were talking about how he started taking antidepressants finally, and he started seeing a therapist. And like, one of the things that I, I hope all of you took away from that last video is quit causing your own misery for so, so long. Like Ethan had all of these thoughts in his head, like, you know, uh, having depression and getting help for it. It's kind of like the wimp's way out and stuff like that. But like, so many of us get to a point where like, when the, when the pain gets so bad, we finally get help. And then he was like, why did I wait so long? Why did I wait so long? And you can see, like anybody who is watching people and kind of analyzing people the way I do, like you can legit see the change in him. Like if you're an H3H3 H3 fan watching this video right now, tell me if I'm crazy. Tell me if I'm crazy down in the comments below and tell me if you see the difference too between his content from earlier this year and some of his uh, most recent content and his last few videos. But the other thing I wanted to touch on was last night I was listening to his, uh, just a clip from his most recent podcast with Jax Films. And like, this is what really inspired me. Like this just made my night last night, okay? So Jax Films was talking about, you know, YouTube burnout and kind of just like the lulls in his content. And, and th this is something that a lot of uh, comedy creators struggle with. And Jack talks about how he's like looking at his old archive and all that stuff. But anyways, <laughs> you see Ethan just say, bro, 
You try therapy yet? Being in the right state of mind, I think, would uh, work wonders. Are you in therapy? Uh, I am not in therapy, personally. Um, but For I, me, it's been huge. Yeah. Because I've been in a rut. And I always thought of therapy as some, like, I was like, ooh, f smell your own ass while sure. you're out at therapy. But I swear to God, it's helped me a lot. And Jack's like, what? <laughs> and Ethan just starts talking about how, like, therapy has been so beneficial to him. He starts talking about how, like, this outside perspective, this objective point of view is so beneficial. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, like Ethan has Ela, right? Ethan has his other friends and support group, but it's sometimes difficult to get um, an unbiased opinion from them, right? Because maybe they don't want to hurt your feelings or maybe maybe they've been sucked into your story over the last years too. So they're seeing everything that you're seeing. But when you bring in a therapist, somebody with a completely outside point of view to kind of talk about it with you, that can start giving you more clarity, right? And that's something that Ethan's talking about. So like, this is one of the reasons like you should all try therapy, but plus they're gonna give you different tools and things that you can use to kind of get out of your own funk. But what I'm getting at is I love that Ethan, Ethan is somebody in the community, right? Who is a trash talker. He has, you know, his own like, uh, kind of like dirty sense of humor and stuff, but he's connected with all these other bigger YouTubers and he's showing them like, yo, it's okay to go to therapy. Yo, it's okay to like try taking some antidepressants. Like if you're struggling with your mental health, you don't have to, that is a choice that you're making. And like, you kind of saw it like in, in the look in like Jack's, Jack's film's eyes like, oh wow. So like that that's just really, really inspirational to me. And that's one of the reasons I make these videos. Like I was like, this is just something that's normal for me now. I, uh, I posted over on my Instagram, by the way, follow me on Instagram if you're not yet. When Rachel Oates, uh, who just did, we just did a collab together too. When uh, she was talking about me in her live stream, but didn't know I was in her live stream. But what she was talking about is how, you know, I'm a, I'm a man who doesn't have a problem opening up about mental health and my feelings and emotions and all that. And like, the thing is for me, I don't even think it's that big of a deal. It's just something that I've been doing for the last six plus years since starting to work on my mental health. It is just normal to me. And that's one of the reasons I have this channel is because I want it to be normal. I don't want it to be some weird thing. Like I have guys, like other men who come to my channel, they're like, oh, hey, look at this wuss talking about his feelings. Like I am an emotionally healthy wuss and I will take that all day long, baby. So I'm glad that Ethan is somebody else out there who has more connections in the YouTube community and showing other YouTubers that it's okay to not only talk about your mental health, but to get help for your mental health. To not only talk about the problem, but to get into the solution. You see what I did there? But anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. I'm super proud of Ethan, and I'm gonna do some more videos on other creators who are doing well with their mental health and what you can learn from them to try to improve yours as well. All right, but anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like again, have you seen a change in Ethan like between his last few videos and the videos he was doing earlier this year. Let's have a conversation down below. But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. We got some new names up on this list right here. So if you would like to become a patron and get some exclusive content, make sure you click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.